Hello everybody. Welcome back to our channel Sugar Engineer. Today we will discuss about the topic types of belts. So let's start our video. A belt is a continuous band of material used in machinery for transferring motion from one wheel to another. These are of four types. 1. Flat belt. 2. V-belt. 3. Round belt. 4. Timing belt. Flat belts. The simplest type of belt is the flat belt. It has a rectangular cross section and was often made of leather in the early days. Today, however, steel or high strength synthetic materials such as polyamide or aramide are used for tension cords. These force transmitting cords are embedded in a rubber core between a top cover and a bottom cover. The bottom layer where the belt has contact with the pulley can be coated with special rubber to increase friction and wear resistance. The top layer on the opposite side only has a protective function. Flat belts allow high speeds and high torques to be transmitted and thus high power. To prevent the flat belt from jumping off the pulley, the cross section of the pulley has a slight convex crown. Depending on the width of the pulley, this hump usually ranges between 0.3 mm and 1.2 mm. This achieves self-centering of the belt and prevents it from running off and the belt keeps track. Flat belts generally generate very little noise. This also has positive effects on the service life and the efficiency, approximate 98%, and thus on the maintenance of the belt. A disadvantage of flat belts, however, is the relatively high bearing load caused by the high pretensioning forces. V-belts the high bearing load when using flat belts can be significantly reduced by using V-belts. The wedge-shaped cross-section leads to high frictional forces on the flanks due to the wedge effect. Therefore, only relatively low preload forces are necessary to generate the required frictional forces for power transmission. Accordingly, the bearing load is also significantly reduced. V-belts can transmit significantly higher torques with the same bearing load than flat belts. However, the efficiency is lower. The so-called groove angle alpha is 38 degrees or 32 degrees, depending on the pulley diameter, whereby the belt only has contact with the pulley on the inclined flanks. The V-belt must therefore not touch the groove bottom, as the contact force must only come about by the flanks. Otherwise, there would be no wedge effect. For the same radial force, bearing load, the total friction force is significantly higher for V-belts. Types of V-belts A. Standard V-belts Classical V-belts are standardized in Germany according to DIN 2215 and have a height-to-width ratio of 1 minute and 1.6 seconds. B. Narrow V-belts Compared to standard V-belts, Narrow V-belts have a more favorable height to width ratio of 1 minute and 1.2 seconds. C. Wide V-belts, variable speed belts. So-called wide V-belts with a height width ratio of over 1 to 2 are used for heavy power transmissions and for applications where large speed changes occur. D. Double V-belts, hex belts. Double V-belts are basically two V-belts that are put on top of each other. Both sides of the belt can therefore be used to transmit power. E. Craft bands. If several individual V-belts are connected to each other by a cover plate, this is referred to as a craft band. Craft equals German word for power and band equals German word for ribbon. F. Poly V-belts, serpentine belts. The poly V-belt, also called serpentine belt or V-ribbed belt, is a mixture of a flat belt and a V-belt, whereby the tension cords run over the entire nominal width, neutral axis, in contrast to the craft band. Round belts. Round belts are special belts that are used almost exclusively for motion transmission and less for power transmission. Due to their symmetrical cross-section, round belts can very easily be guided in different directions with the aid of guiding pulleys. The figure below shows the motion transmission of a round belt for centripetal force measurement. Timing belts, synchronous belts. With friction locking belt types such as flat belts and V belts, slippage will occur, which reduces the efficiency and control accuracy accordingly. However, this can be prevented by toothed belts, as the teeth attached to the belt surface then transmit the force positively. 
slippage cannot take place. Therefore, toothed belts are always used when precise positioning is required. For this reason, toothed belts are also called timing belts or synchronous belts. Like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching our VED.